Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Check it out, guys. I'm doing a video a little bit different today. Uh, just keep changing it up. A little different scenery, a little this and that. You know, just got to be creative when you're making videos. You know, not just the same old, same old where they're right on a couch for all your videos or doing something just the same frame or something. You got to kind of keep it mixed up, man. Keep the audience interested. But today, I'm going to show you all what we got going on here. This is from Lone Star Mastiff Farms. <clears throat> Oh yeah, and today we got a very interesting treat for you and for me. It is the, what's that look like guys? What is that? <laughs> yes, right. It's the Big Mustard Mama. My friend Troy Primo created this pepper. I know you're saying, man, no, that's the Pepper X. No, it's not. This is what the Pepper X was created from. Not 100% sure on that, but look at the genetics, guys. And this one is just a little off, you know, but that's okay. You know, it's, it's, it's close enough. But if you compare the two, let me, let, me, uh, let me flip the camera for a second here. Okay, let's get up close and personal here, shall we? Look at the colors, guys. Look at the pheno. What other peppers have you seen like this? I mean, I know the mustard pods have different colors, different phenos, different shapes, you know, of course. But to get the same pheno, same color, it's got to have a parent, guys. I don't know, it was brought to my attention several years back, and boy, I'm telling you what, <laughs> it is what it is. Get a real good close-up there so you can really see what's going on. Big Mustard Mama, Troy Primo. This was sent to me from Lone Star Mastiff Farms. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to business at hand. Hmm. That is a wonderful taste and pot, guys. It's even better tasting them outside than inside. Fresh air and everything. <clears throat> it's sweet. It's not bitter. It's not floral. It is not earthy. This pod is great for making sauce with. It's got a lot of heat, guys. This is a very hot pod. Not as hot as the chocolate cream that I ate yesterday. But it ranks up there. It's hotter than a Carolina Reaper. That's a fact. Um, my scale right now, maybe, maybe at about a one. Mm. A little bit to the back of the throat, mostly tongue burn. Overall, mouth and tongue burn. It's hot. It's a hot pepper. Yes, yeah, my tolerance is down, but that doesn't mean that it's way down. You know, I don't hardly ever let it get way down. Underneath the tongue, on the sides, mostly. That's where it's at. Eyes watering just a little bit. Probably at about a two to a two and a half ish. I think this is the last day, if I looked at the weather correctly, that we're going to have this 70 degree weather. I thought it was supposed to be coming in this evening, I think, or, or today, but I. It's going to be a little later. Beautiful weather, though. Let me flip this around so y'all can see what's up. Nice. I don't think it's going to get any higher. Than maybe, a, maybe, almost maybe got to a three. Oh, close. Dogs fighting next door. Hope they kill each other. I'm a dog lover. Don't get me wrong. But if you're going to be waking me up at 5 o'clock in the morning with your barking dogs and I got to run over to your house and holler at you, there's something wrong. 
If you let your dog get out of your backyard, if you put him back there, and he goes all through the neighborhood and knocks people's trash over, and you don't go pick it up, there's something wrong with you. Yes, this happened. <laughs> Heat's pretty much all black backed off by now. So, I mean, I still got a heat sense going, but it's not at a one or anything. But this pod is hot, but it ain't close to that chocolate primitive y'all. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> all right, y'all.